We are heading out for dinner right now. Don't mind me. I'm just putting on my boots. We're going to this restaurant. It's called Corner Room. And I'll take you guys along with me. It's only 6 p.m. but the sky is already so dark. Guys, how cool is this? There's a random town hall room in the middle of the hotel and it's situated right beside the corner room restaurant. How random and amazing is this? So I just quickly did some Google search and apparently the town hall hotel this place used to be a town hall back in the Edwardian times and they tried to maintain some of the art deco pieces and the period pieces from the time which is super cool because the whole decor of the place is very old school, very vintage. Okay, we just stepped out of the hotel. I actually didn't know the history of the Town Hall Hotel prior to coming to the corner room for dinner. So this was such a pleasant surprise. And now we are heading home. It's Sunday and we are about to head out for dinner now. We will be having Sunday roast this evening at Blacklock Shoreditch. They make a very famous Sunday roast. I'm so excited that we're gonna try. But before we head out, I wanted to pop on here real quick and share with you guys basically what our Saturday was like yesterday. Yesterday, we had a very long day but it was very fun and I didn't get the opportunity to speak much to the camera. 
so I wanted to give a quick summary of what happened. Um, basically, in the afternoon, we went to this darts bar, it's called Flight Club. We went to the outlet at Bloomsbury, and at Flight Club Bloomsbury, we had their brunch social, which is something that they host every Thursdays to Sundays, every week. And what you get at brunch social is basically Prosecco and free flow pizza. And because the place was celebrating Halloween, the mood was very festive, the entire bar was decorated up nicely and we also had complimentary Halloween cocktails and all that good stuff. After that, we went for a cabaret performance at the Crazy Cox and the performance was being put up by the Black Cat Cabaret and it was super fun. We had really good seats. We were actually supposed to sit at the side because that was the table that we managed to reserve online because we did book quite late. But because they needed a pathway for the performers um, to go on stage, they relocated us to the front of the stage. So that was nice and it was really such a fun experience. And yeah, what else? Oh, I also wanted to share with you guys very quickly two things that I got from Harrods. Yes, again, I keep buying stuff from Harrods, I know, but it's because I have a discount code. Um, I have 10% off right now, so I decided to buy some products that I do need to restock in my beauty collection. Um, it's not going to be a full-on proper unboxing this time around just because I've actually already started using one of the products which will be the first one I'm gonna show you. This is the Revive Eye Renewer Serum. It is a 15 milliliter bottle and this is how it looks like on the inside. I love the sleek packaging. This set me back £99 and I've been looking for a new eye cream slash eye serum just because I was running out of my current one. The one I'm currently using is the Babor Extra Firming Eye Cream. Babor is a German brand. I don't think it's as popular in Singapore, but it is pretty popular in Europe. However, I would not recommend eye cream just because I felt like it was too thick in consistency and a little bit too oily. It doesn't really absorb into the under eye area very well. So I'm glad that I was going to be done with that. And so far, my first experience using this Revive Eye Renewer Serum is pretty good. It gives a cooling sensation post-application and it absorbs very quickly into the skin, which I like. Um, but to be honest, there was a tingling sensation that I felt. But I do normally get this experience with new eye creams that I try out. And it usually happens the first time I try it and it goes away after the second or third try. So it's nothing alarming. Um, and I think it works pretty well under makeup too. So. Yeah, that's my experience with this eye serum. Well, I should probably share a bit of background on the brand just in case it's not something that you guys are familiar with. Revive is a brand that is developed by a plastic and reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Gregory. And what their products feature is the cutting edge by renewal technology and infuse skin identical proteins into their products and this helps to mimic the skin's renewal process so that it helps your skin look in general more youthful, glowing, smoother, softer and all the good stuff. So that's the Revive brand for you guys. The next product that I got from Harrods is the Fresh Lotion Body Lotion from the Diptyque brand. This is a 250ml bottle and it costs £45. I haven't actually opened it up, so I'm going to do it on camera with you guys. This is how the bottle looks like. It's going to look very pretty on my vanity table. Currently, I'm using the Byredo Body Lotion in Gypsy Water Scent. And to be honest, I really do like that because I love the fragrance and it also absorbs very quickly into the skin and is sufficiently moisturizing despite the fact that we're going into fall slash winter but I'm gonna be done with that soon and as a beauty junkie I love trying out new products so I wanted to pick this up to have a go and it says on the website that this fresh lotion by Diptyk is infused with orange blossom water, sweet almond oil and macadamia nut so as to nourish and scent the skin. Stop to try this out and yeah 
that's everything that I got from Harrods and right now it is 5 30 p.m. We've just officially ended daylight savings and yeah I should totally get going now for dinner and I'll catch you guys at Blacklock Shoreditch once I'm there. See ya! So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And it started to fade into your grave I realized I forgot to give a review of my Sunday roast dinner at Black Clock So I wanted to pop on here to quickly share that with you guys It supposedly it's the best Sunday roast in London, or so I have heard from some YouTube videos. And I must say, I do agree with it. The roasted beef was super soft and tender and very juicy. And I really like the, uh, what's that, is it seasoned carrots? Um, the potatoes were a little dry, but they were still very nice. And obviously, I had to have my Sunday roast with the uh, Bloody Mary, and it was very good. So in terms of the quality and the price point, overall I would highly recommend everyone to check the place out. The outlet that I went to was Black Lock Shoreditch and the service there was fantastic as well. And yes, I'm gonna close off the vlog here. Thank you for watching. Oh, but before I head off, I know I promised you guys in a previous video that I will be sharing some proper footage of me cleaning my bathroom just because my camera cut off in a previous video. So if you guys are interested to see me clean the toilet bowl, then keep watching. Or is it this way? <laughs> keep watching for cleaning motivation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I'm gonna be spraying down the metal parts with the Viacal spray and then I'm just gonna rinse it down with water and now I'm gonna be cleaning my bathtub with the flesh bathroom spray And I'm gonna clean it all down with a damp, minky bathroom pad. They told me that I always had to be good. But being could always be problems is true. So I learned it, I learned it, and now I know I don't wanna play it. The play, the play, God. Man, I'm crazy, I'm crazy, but I'm around, baby, it's true. with a glass panel and it's essentially to prevent water from splashing out when you're showering and I don't know if you can tell through the camera but it's actually looking kind of grimy it tends to get grimy very quickly just because of all the water marks that stay on it so I'm gonna wipe this down with my matted glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth to be good but being good always be problems is true then okay just kidding i'm not totally done yet i have some leftover spiced plum scented zoflora in here and i'm gonna pour all of this down the bathtub drain just so that it disinfects the drain and it also makes the whole room smell really nice so that's what I'm gonna do. And now for the fun part. They told me that I always had to be good. But 
been could always be problems it's true so i learn it i learn it and now i know i don't wanna play the play the play god man i'm crazy i'm crazy but i'm around baby it's true Yeah. <laughs>